Okay, this morning, came in, go to the office, sit down, open up my email, and on the right side, there is an ad banner that says, Taurus Lawsuit Settlement. So, being a gun person and knowing Taurus and having owned Taurus pistols in the past, and anyway. So I click on it, and I'm like, okay, what is this all about? Obviously, somebody is paying for an ad. And there has been, quote, a settlement. And they have instructions. If you have one of the pistols that is involved, if you, you may not even know, you're like, what the heck's going on? There were certain models in the PT series that apparently if the safety was disengaged and you hit it or dropped it or whatever, it could go off, it could discharge, which is not a good thing, obviously. So there was a big, and how many times did this happen in the real world? How many times did anyone get injured? I don't know. Uh, in the world that we live in today, it could have been like this happened once and we have to shut down the company. Now, once is too many, but regardless, it wasn't like there was an epidemic of people like dying on a daily basis from Taurus guns accidentally discharging. But there was a lawsuit. Uh, you know, most attorneys are, are tort lawyers. They smelled blood in the water and they looked at a firearms company and they said, hey, deep pockets, we're going to sue, class action, all this. And so now, what you can do is you can send your Taurus in if you have one of the affected guns. Oh, hey, it's Brown Santa. Hey, Brown Santa. Brown Santa just came. I feel like I'm doing, <laughs> like I'm doing Pee Wee's Playhouse. Thanks, Kingpin. What did Brown Santa bring us? I'm going to open it on camera. You guys are not aren't doing anything else right now. Maybe his adult video collection. Oh. I hope you ordered that, and somebody didn't order it for you. <clears throat> no, it's it's just Paul Mark on. Aha! It's the Demon Sermon on the Martial Arts and Other Tales by Isai Chosanchi, which is a, a nom de plume or a pen name. Take your hand out. Oh, me? I ordered this for oh, you. Oh, yeah, this is it's like Christmas so for me. So that you would have your very own copy. Awesome. Let's see. Thank All you. right, getting back to the topic at hand. I got a patch and a book this morning. <laughs> uh, it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Anyway, so Taurus, the, the, the class action apparently has been settled. You can send your guns back. They, they tell you how to pack it up and ship it back to them. And they will either repair and warranty it or they'll give you money or what have you. Okay, that's all pretty standard stuff. Then the train, the choo-choo, <laughs> went off the rails. They did a series of informational safety training videos. And in safety training video number one, and I'm going to read directly from the monitor here, it says, carrying a firearm can be a dangerous or can be dangerous and puts great responsibility on the person in possession of the firearm. Well, thank you for telling me that. Carrying or handling a firearm makes it more difficult to maintain control over the muzzle and makes it more likely the firearm may be dropped or bumped, resulting in a firearm discharging. The official policy statement from the attorneys at Taurus is, quote, carrying or handling a firearm makes it more difficult to maintain control over the muzzle and increases the likelihood that it may be dropped or bumped. So according to a Taurus's official statement, or at least the official statement from their attorneys, is that you should never carry and or handle a firearm because it makes it difficult to control the muzzle. And if you carry and or handle a firearm, it may be bumped or dropped. And you say, okay, Paul, you're, you're just picking on them. No, I'm not picking on them. The reason that I'm mentioning this right now is because there are people in the world that are going to take this, these videos and they're going to try and apply it to, your, to you and your life. They're going to try and apply this to every gun made in America or anywhere in the world. There are people in the culture, in our culture, who say things like, you should never carry a handgun, a pistol, with a round chamber because it's dangerous. Now, you and I know that that's retarded, right? But people still say that. 
Well, in the Taurus video, it says, unless there is a chance of extreme danger or need, you should always carry your pistol with a fully loaded magazine and the chamber empty because, quote, if the chamber is empty, the gun cannot fire. Yes. Also, it says, never carry a firearm in any way that could allow it to fall or be bumped. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I feel really bad about this situation because both of the guys, if, when, if and when you watch the videos, you're probably going to encounter them at some point in time. I'm not going to be the only person talking about it. You can tell when you watch them that they were... How many of you guys are old enough to remember the videos of the Vietnam POWs where they put a black and white television camera on them and they looked directly into it and they, they said, I am in violation of the United Nations, da, 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 da. They were doing that under duress, right? And some of you may remember, some of you old timers, remember the, uh, the pilot who was blinking torture in Morse code with his eyelids. Those videos of those prisoners in Vietnam were done under duress. There was a guy like right off the side with a Schmeiser or an AK. I feel like these videos with Robert and Tim, who I know personally, who I consider to be friends, and I feel very, very sad that there was like members of the Brazilian secret police with Schmeisers just off camera to make sure that they didn't go off script. Folks, in the year 2016, if you're carrying a defensive arm and it doesn't have a drop safe on it and it can go off from being dropped, not like because God hates you and, and a pebble gets in the trigger guard. and, and the, No, I'm talking about just like you let it go and it goes pow. That is, that's hundred year old technology. Every Glock, every SIG, I mean, every duty quality gun has a drop safe. Smith & Wesson M&Ps, what have you. If you don't, if your gun is going to go off or the manufacturer tells you that it can go off from being dropped or bumped, don't carry that gun. Carry a different gun. I'm sorry, but don't carry it. This is a, this is a crazy thing, and what's sad, the, the saddest thing to me is that as time goes by, there will be people who will say, see, all of you firearms instructors are telling people to carry loaded guns, you're wrong. All this is, these, these Taurus videos, what you need to know is this was a scripted, lawyer-generated cover of my ass, cover our asses. Based on the settlement, we have to say this. So they had the lawyers draft the scripts and they rolled two guys out from Taurus and pointed guns at their heads and said, read the monitor and say these things. And a lot of what they said is just flat out wrong. And I'm sorry for that, but it is. So I felt like we needed to address this because I know sure as God made little green apples that this is going to blow up this week and people are going to be talking about it. And it's, there's going to be blog articles written and all that. So I mentioned it to Jared and he said, let's just get in front of this and let's talk about it. So there you go. Let's That's just it. do it. And Carry your gun. Be dangerous. So and what does is, what is Shane say? If you can't be... If you can't be safe, be dangerous. Yeah, if you can't be safe, be dangerous. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of Student of the Gun Live. Um, and did, fuck ISIS. Did you talk about um, the training thing specifically? What well, I don't know what you're saying. Ask me directly. Uh, I, I don't remember. Okay. There was something that you said that you wanted to address directly, but I don't remember what the quote was. Well, they said, uh, they said, securing a firearm can be dangerous and inhibit your ability to access it in a life or death situation may cause result in death or injury. The failure to secure a firearm may result in death or injury. Yeah, it wasn't that. It, was it wasn't us. It was before we, like, we talked about so much stuff earlier, so, ah, whatever. Oh, oh, oh! In honor of this, 
I almost forgot. We came up with, we, this is patent pending. <laughs> this is a patent pending design, okay? Uh, so you can't share this with anyone, all right? But I'm gonna give you guys a first look. This is a prototype of a new, this is a new Taurus approved bump and drop resistant holster. Like I said, this is just a prototype and uh, we've submitted the patent application. I had Jared do it this morning, but this is a new prototype of a Taurus approved bump safe holster. So look for that real soon at your local uh, Walmart or Academy Outdoors. Exclusive student of the gun product. We need a Stimper logo on there. I almost forgot. That's just a prototype though. So. Yeah, it's just, it's just a prototype. Yeah. But we think it'll work pretty well to keep the gun from being bumped. Yeah, and if you're bored, <laughs> you can just... Uh. Well, we've got, we're got this model, and then we're thinking of creating a tactical model with, with larger bubbles. Are they going to pop? They're not going to pop on camera. pop one at a time. Oh, there you go. All right, enough clowning. They want to know, know if Crossbreed will be putting it out. Okay. We're in negotiations. Yeah, we're in negotiations. Where can I get the holster? Where can I get a shirt like that? Uh, Twin Unicorn Design. Twin Unicorn Design. Tell them student of the gun sent you. We make it in black. Yes, that's going to be the tactical version. Most comfortable holster on the market. You can use it as a pillow. Yeah. You can sit on it. Yeah, you don't even have to put your gun under your pillow anymore. Now you can have it in a holster as your pillow. Right, as your pillow. This can be the pillow. Don't put naked guns under your pillow, guys. Once I pop all the bubbles, it's serious. How much for the patent rights? Uh, we can negotiate. One Billy, million, Billy, contact us. One Info at student of the gun. Dollars. <laughs> all right, we're done. We're done. All right.